Hello and welcome back. Long time no see. That's my fault, I guess. Um, this week we're not going to be doing the lower enclosure for the bandsaw, nor the storage that needs to go underneath. We're also not going to be working on the steel base for my behemoth workbench. And we're not going to be doing the electronics and the motor mount for the MCO lathe. I haven't forgotten about those projects, they'll come later. This week we're going to try and focus on a bit of paying work and I've got a job where I have to extend some stair stringers. Now they're made out of steel and they're obviously engineered for a certain size. They're five treads long, we're going to extend them by two treads and we're going to beef up the beam structure underneath. With that said, let's get started, change the camera angle and show you what's going on. We need to make sure all these peaks are aligned and the interval is 28 centimetres. So we'll, we'll set this variable space to 28 centimetres once I've cut this off. And then we'll weld this joint, not for any strength, just to lock this spacing in and to lock the alignment in. And we'll add some 6mm plate. So we're adding a bit of beam depth. We're adding a lot of thickness to the walls. The originals are about 2 millimetres. So the next step is to grind off these welds because they sit a little bit proud. We want to grind those off flush so that our plate meets up with this properly. Here you can see me marking the overlap that needs to be cut off. I was able to use a parallel as a spacer. Right, well here's where we're up to. These three pieces are now joined on. You saw a little bit of welding there, but things quickly went south when I realized that underneath this powder coating there's, uh, there's a zinc layer. So I ended up with lots of um, contamination in the welds and I had to spend some quality time with the uh, carbide burr and re-welding a lot of these. So I've spared you the pain of that. And uh, here's the finished job. So these are all joined and I've given them a coat of zinc spray, cold galve, as they call it. And next step is to shape some of these six mil plates so that they fit on the sides of these. And then we can strip the paint and weld them on. You're going to have to imagine the bandsaw cutting this angle because I don't have any footage of that. Well that angle worked out to be okay. In this shot you can see the welds better and you can see the depth of the new beam. 
Here I am cutting the other angle. I quickly got sick of the grinding, so I broke out the paint stripper. Now I'd heard of other people joining the ends of their TIG filler rods together, so I thought I'd give it a go. And it seems to work quite well. Here's welding one of the side plates onto the square tube in real time. This takes quite a while and I had 144 of these stitch welds to do. Well, those welds seem to have come out pretty well. Especially now I've got the zinc and powder coating removed. Now I didn't say I was a painter. I'm just brushing on one coat for the customer just to keep the weather out. And here's the finished job. It's come out pretty well. I just wanted to say thanks to all my viewers and subscribers and patrons and Merry Christmas to everybody. And I'll see you in the next video, which should be an odds and ends video.